What's good, peeps? All right, before we get into the prediction video for the big fight, I just want to say thanks to you guys, everyone leaving comments, liking the video, sharing them, hitting that subscribe button, that today's video is sponsored by La Bomb. That's because of you guys. Today's video is sponsored by La Bomb. Now, I've left a link in the description. Make sure you check out that link. It's in the description. Hit it up. Now, for those of you that are asking, what is La Bomb? La Bomb is a betting app, but it's a different kind of betting app. It's not like your big bookies betting app. It's a bit of a flutter with a few mates. That's what it is, right? La Bomb is an app for you and your friends to download. And if you like me, you have a bit of banter when it comes to football, you think you know your stuff, then this is for you. Problem for me, as I get most of my bets wrong, you guys know me, right? My predictions are awful. But this is perfect for those of you that like a bit of banter with a bit of friends. Download the app and let's see how good you are with your predictions. Now, it's so easy to download as well. Honestly, it's taken me a couple of stages just to put my name, my date of birth, all that good stuff in, and then that's it. Now, I'm with a few people that you might know. I'm with James Redmond, massive Liverpool fan. Lee Chappie's with my group as well, massive Leicester City fan. And we are going to try and pick, well, I'm going to try anyway, and pick the results from about nine matches. Now, look, it's not going to be easy because me and predictions are awful, but I think I've done well in this one. So that's it, really. Look, you put your bets in with a few mates. Winner takes all. Who doesn't like a bit of extra readies? I'm going to give you some of my predictions that I've done. So I've got Leeds versus Tottenham. I've gone 2-1 Leeds. Um, what else have I done? Liverpool versus Southampton. Liverpool, obviously. 3-1. What's another big game? Aston Villa versus Man United. I've gone United 3-1. So that's it, guys. Look, you put all your predictions in. And the funny thing is... So winner takes all. That's it. Bit of banter, bit of fun with a bit of friends. I mean, I know for me, I'd rather give my money to my friends than the bookies. Check it out, guys. I've left the link in the description. All right, let's talk boxing. Let's talk Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders. The weigh-ins have literally, I'm not joking, the weigh-ins have just wrapped up. And um, guys, if I'm honest with you, my prediction hasn't changed. My prediction hasn't changed, but I'm going to go a bit more specific now and I'm going to talk about rounds. You know, in fact, let, let's let's go back a bit. Let's go back a bit before we start talking rounds and knockouts and all this stuff. What are people thinking? Because a lot of you I've seen, I've seen the comment section, a lot of you for some reason still think that Billy Joe Saunders is going to win. And a lot of you have earmarked the fact that in terms of slick boxers that Canelo's fought, he struggled against, right? Lara, people have noticed. Even Austin Trout, Austin Trout's pretty slick, noted. Floyd Mayweather, noted. I will counter that by saying all those fights happened six years ago? Let's have a quick look. When did Canelo fight Lara? That little streak and that little run of Lara, um, Floyd and Trout. Okay, 2013 Trout, 2013 Floyd, 2014 Lara. This is a different beast. Honestly, peeps, this is a different beast. Um, to be, you know, I spoke to Dave Coldwell today, and it's funny, right? Because me, and then there's Dave Coldwell, who's trained, you know, guys that have fought for world titles. He's, he's a legit trainer, right? Guys that have won world titles. Let's not forget that, Tony Bellew. And I was like, okay, what weaknesses does uh, Canelo have? And the first thing he said was, he's not unbeatable. He's not unbeatable. Now, whether that means Billy Joe is the man to beat him is another thing, but he said he's not unbeatable. So I said, okay, then tell me. Like, that's, that's an easy statement. What? What does he do wrong? He likes to sit on the ropes, he says. I said, well, he's going to march forward with Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders, he said, has to get, almost has to dent him a bit. And it, so Billy Joe Saunders is going to have to stand and trade. Billy Joe Saunders is going to have to land something because Canelo in his last few fights, apart from Golovkin and Danny Jacobs, is walking you down. Walk down Callum. He, the way he was walking down Callum Smith should have been illegal. Walk down Callum Smith. Walk down Avni Yildirim. Obviously, walk down Rocky Fielding. None of those guys could put a dent in him to make him think like, okay, I'm not going to walk you down. We're going to have a little boxing lesson. Golovkin dented him. Now, you might not have seen it. He might not have wobbled, but Golovkin hit him hard to the point where he's like, okay, I'm not going to walk down Golovkin. He didn't walk down Danny Jacobs either. Billy Joe Saunders is going to have to dent this guy early and quick, or he's going to continue to walk down Billy Joe Saunders. And I don't think Billy Joe Saunders has the gas tank in order to keep this man off for 12 rounds. 
I, I just don't see it. And I, look, I know Billy Joe Saunders isn't a puncher. I know everyone's going to say that. But he's going to have to land something on him or it's going to be a tough night's work. It's that simple. If he doesn't land something on this guy for 12 rounds, Canelo's going to be on his chest. And that's not a good place for Billy Joe Saunders to find himself. It's not. I, I understand the boxing ability thing, right? I, I, I understand that. But let's not forget as well, when it was Loma versus... Uh, Tiafimo, right? Loma, all the boxing ability. Tiafimo landed a couple of things on him hard. That went out of the window. Went out of the window. So boxing ability is one thing. You've got to dent someone. You've got to dent them early for them to gain your respect. I, I don't know if he has the pop to do that. Honestly, I, I, I'm not convinced he does. Unless you guys are going to convince me he does do. Another thing for me that concerns me with Billy Joe Saunders is the level of opponent he's been fighting since. And look, I hate to do this again because I'm repeating myself and it's almost like I'm going at Billy Joe here. But level of opponent before this, Martin Murray, before that, Caceres, before that, Shefet Asufi, before that, Charles Adamu, before that, David Lemu, before that, William Monroe Jr., before that, Akavov. That's the level of opponent he's been fighting. He's going to have to raise his game beyond anything that we've seen in the last five years. Anything. I actually think he can raise his game. There is, there is the Tyson Furies about Billy Joe Saunders, isn't it? I don't know if it's the gypsy thing, I don't know. But I was rightly pointed out when I said, oh, look at what Tyson Fury did uh, when he fought Deontay Wilder. He had to raise his game and he did and no one expected him to win, all that stuff. Someone rightly shut me down and says, Canelo Alvarez ain't no Deontay Wilder. Or should I say it the correct way? Deontay Wilder ain't no Canelo Alvarez. He's not that guy. As good as Deontay Wilder was, just a puncher. All he had was a right hand. That is it. Maybe a one-two. That's it. Canelo isn't that. Canelo isn't that. And if you're going to try and play mind games with Canelo, that ain't going to work either. That ain't going to work either. I mean, this is, this is, this is a guy now. We, we know the story now. Brother was kidnapped. Brother was kidnapped before the Rocky Fielding fight. What, 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 what are you doing in terms of mind games with that? Man still carried on. Carried on. I didn't, I didn't even notice there was an issue with him. Still carried on. Still carried on. You know, every time I see Canelo, you know, remember the film Highlander where he chops the head off and takes the power? Every time I see Canelo, it's almost like he's taking the power of the guy he fights. Every time I see him, he's more confident. Even the Golovkin fight, yeah? I thought he lost the first Golovkin fight. I can understand how people scored the second fight. It's almost like he took Golovkin's power. He's so much more confident going into the second fight. It's like, what? What? <laughs> Guys, I don't know, man. Oh no, I'm I'm um I'm stuck on this one. I'm very much stuck on this one. Not stuck in terms of a winner, stuck in terms of does Billy Joe Saunders get stopped or does it go to the points? That's what I'm stuck on. Does Billy Joe Saunders you know I I almost expect him to do well for the first few rounds, almost like the way Luke Campbell done well against Ryan Garcia, and then I just expect the heat to be turned up, adjustments to be made, and Canelo to just run through gears. Gears that I don't think Billy Joe Saunders has. This will be a colossal upset if Billy Joe Saunders wins. Colossal. And that's crazy. That's how good Canelo is. That I'm telling you, a two-weight, unbeaten world champion will have to find something that we've not seen before and it will be a colossal upset if he wins. That's crazy even thinking about it. But that's what I think Canelo is. I think he is a crazy fighter. I think he has got absolutely everything in that tool bag. Open it up and this fucking guy brings out everything. Everything you think you've got. Everything you've seen, he brings out something else. He has got a tool bag that is packed. But the last time I said that about someone with a tool bag was Vasil Lomachenko. I said exactly the same thing. I said, Tiafimo Lopez ain't got anything on Loma because Loma's going to go to that tool bag and bring out things he hasn't seen before. Tiafimo Lopez won. But Tiafimo Lopez started fast and he dented Loma. Started fast and dented him. Billy Joe Saunders here, people, needs to start fast and he needs to dent Canelo. He needs to earn that respect quick. Telling you, if he does not earn that respect quick, it's going to be a long night. And, and the thing is about Canelo as well, I'm not saying dent him as in knock him out. It ain't happening, it ain't happening. Dent him just so that he doesn't rush you. This guy has almost become... A pressure fighter that knows he's got great movement, disguises these punches like you don't know where they're coming from, has a chin and can knock you out. 
Good luck. I am going Canelo to win 10 rounds to two, nine rounds to three. I'm sorry, I'm being greedy here. 10 to nine, three, late stoppage. Late stoppage. Anyway, look, guys, we will see each other at what time? We're going to see each other at 1 a.m. for what will be something special. It will be something special. It? And I don't mean to be disrespectful to Billy Joe when I do this talk. It's just, again, I think Canelo is, is that special. And this could be Caleb Plant in this position. It could be Benavidez in this position. This could be Charlo in this position. I still would talk the same way. This isn't in against Billy Joe Saunders just because I think Canelo is just a bit too much. I think it's a bit too much. I really do. Again, it, it, sometimes in these kind of fights, and we're talking inches here sometimes, how you live in the life in between fights. What do you walk into camp in? Like, what kind of shape do you walk into camp at? Is Canelo walking into shape to, to lose weight? Or is Canelo walking shape into the, sorry, is Canelo walking into camp to lose weight? Or is Canelo walking into camp to sharpen his tools? Now, let me ask you the same question about Billy Joe Saunders. Is he walking into camp to lose weight or to sharpen his tools? I'll say it's a bit of both. I'll say it's a bit of both. Canelo is literally walking into camp to sharpen tools. Like, you know, when you get too nice to give any sh that's what he's doing. How many photos have we seen of, oh, Billy Joe Saunders is in fantastic shape? That's normal with Canelo. I've never seen Canelo out of shape. The only time I've seen Canelo look a bit out of shape is when um, he done a bit, I think, some DAZN promo a couple of years ago. Looked a bit, looked a bit bulky there. Apart from that, pristine. Pristine.